Welcome to another heavy-a equipment visa review. The last time we uh, reviewed the Massimo Radical 7 and today we are going to review this Massimo Rad 5. Um, as you can see this come in a rubber cover. This is optional and you can choose between seven different colors. It has an included table stand that's pretty stable um, it, also, it also has um, a strap on the back and that's pretty safe as well so you can really uh, put it uh, wherever you want um, and it will be pretty safe um, so let's turn it on So as you can see, it gives you a summary of the actual settings. It's pretty quick to pick up a reading. And so as you can see, the top display is for the SP2. The bottom one is for the heart rate. Here we have the signal IQ indicator. Um, so when the signal is very low and the sp2 and pulse rate values are not very accurate the led turns red here we have the pulse index indicator and as you can see there are the values on the side so this doesn't have the pvi as the radical 7 has um, but it has just the the pulse index and the pulse index is the ratio between pulsatile to the non-pulsatile uh, blood flow as you can see here there is the facet indicator the facet is a feature that rapidly track changes in arterial oxygen saturation uh, here there is the alarm LED uh, here there is the let's say the silence LED so if we press this button we silence the alarm and here it's blinking because we have a low battery and this one as you can see is the battery indicator um, so if we press these two buttons in this normal screen we have we can select the the volume for the uh, so the beat volume um, here we can enter the menu so here we have the alarm volume and we can set it um, if we press this button we go in us into a sub menu so here we can set the alarm for the low for low sp2 here for the high sp2 here for the low heart rate and here for the high heart rate um, pressing this button we move into another menu and here we can select the um, averaging time and this can go down to two seconds and this allows you for high fidelity pulse oximeter performances and so here we have other sub, sub menus as well so we can um, select the sensitivity and we have the three sensitivity modes that we have in the radical 7 as well so we have the normal that's uh, something in between the maximum and the APOD um, so let's enter this on menu we have the APOD the normal and the high 
So the HPOD is the adaptive probe of detection and this is the least sensitive in picking up a reading um, in case um, with low perfusion and the maximum is the best one and the normal one is a combination between the two. And here we can enable or disable the uh, fast SAT. Here we can enable or disable the smart tone. So um, the the smart tone basically um, basically is a feature that uh, allow the pulse oximeter to identify the arterial wave under low signal to noise conditions. Uh, so the majority of the pulse oximeters emit a tone just when um, they recognize um, clean pulse signal, um, whereas this pulse oximeter gives a variable pitch tone instead of um, of having a loss of signal, basically. Um, And this is um, the trend, the trend menu. And here we can set the brightness of of this pulse oximeter. Um, here, as you can see, there is the Mesimo Signal Extraction Technology uh, logo, and. The signal extraction technology uses five parallel algorithms for HSPO2 calculation. So most pulse oximeters assume that the arterial blood is the only one that's moving, uh, whereas this pulse oximeter with the SET technology can cancel the noise produced by the venous blood in order to give an accurate pulse rate and HSPO2 reading, even if the patient is moving. So that's pretty useful. So in the end, I think this is a very good device. The cover is a great plus. Uh, it's pretty thick and it keeps it safe to, from bumps and drops. Um, it's pretty easy to, to remove it from the cover. And as you can see, it's pretty small without the cover. The cover has a lot of volume to it. Um, on the back, there is this battery cover we can just press this button and slide it and here there is the battery van with four AA batteries so and no proprietary battery this is another huge plus um, they are pretty easy uh, to find on the market pretty easy to replace um, it's quite easy to put it back in the cover as well um, Obviously, uh, the Radical 7 has a much more easier and intuitive interface. Um, this doesn't have the gorgeous touch screen that the Radical 7 has. Um, let's say, obviously, doesn't have um, this doesn't have some features that the Radical 7 has like the rainbow technology, like the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, so it cannot connect to a root monitor. Um, doesn't have the PVI measurements. This one has just the pulse index measurement. Um, I think that in a field or a normal world condition, this one is going to survive definitely better than the Radical 7. Um, this is pretty rugged and compared to Radical 7. Um, I think that on this one we have pretty much everything that we need in a normal condition and is 
less expensive than than the Radical 7 for sure. Um, so I think that for general purposes this is a great choice. This is a very good pulse oximeter. Um, and it's quite good looking as well. So thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and see you for the next review.